I don't think. Now, here is a uh, paddler who could upset the apple cart here. Stephanie Horn, of course, been to a couple of Olympics, paddles for Italy, and just super fast. She's had a great year this year, I have to say. Um, Absolutely. In fact, she's she's uh, had a tried her hand at kayak cross and in her very first World Cup managed to win gold. So it just underlines the, ooh, underlines the quality of this athlete. And we know she is very, very fast. And look at that early split. It's almost the same time as uh, Luca Jones. Absolutely in touch here. We see, we'll see Steffi maybe do very nicely on a course like this that is very physical and very technical. So she can pull very hard and also manage the technical moves all the way down. We'll see on the second split here. I think she's just in the same time. Oh, just losing a little bit of time from Luca, but not a significant no. significant amount. No, not 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 a t not an amount of time that she can't make up. That's right, and still within reach of the top three boats here. So yeah, that's the important thing. After Stephanie Horn, we will start to get some qualifiers. Yeah, managing this stagger quite nicely. You want to keep the boat going as fast as you can downstream. And that's something she's pretty good at doing. Maybe not as quick as some of the athletes in that gate 19. So just slipping out a little bit here, but uh, well, there's only 10 paddlers to go after Stephanie Horn. So now we're gonna start seeing some qualifying, some cues appearing alongside some names. And Stephanie Horn, if she can be around a 105. Oh, she's gone too deep there. Yeah. She will be digging deep and pushing all the way to the end because she knows it's not over until it's over. It's going to be tight for her. Stephanie Horn comes down to the finish line and moves into fourth. That's going to be a nervous way. That's going to be tricky. We will see 